Okay, I'm now going to be talking about a process called reference mining, or sometimes it's called citation mining. And this is useful for several reasons. First of all, it can help you expand your search to find more relevant resources. It can also, if you find too many resources for your topic, it can help you determine which ones might be the, the most relevant and the most well-respected resources on your topic. And the way to do this is actually through time. And the way I mean this is that as the name implies reference mining, you're going to be digging into the references um, within an article. So what you do is you start out with a search in any of any database. Now I happen to be using the Empire State College's online library version of Google Scholar, which means that um, I've logged in to Empire State College and using Google Scholar, it's now connected into the library's, some of the library's collections. And I've done a search, but you can do the same thing in any other of the library's databases. And I can then go within Google Scholar, there are mechanisms to go back in time to look at the references that an author of an article has documented and also to go forward in time. So I'm going to be using this example here, the third result, a comparison of humor styles, coping humor, and mental health between Chinese and Canadian university students from 2007. So the question is, I can go back in time simply by going to the full text of this article, which is linked over here, and I'm going to open up a new tab to go there. And once I'm here, I can then go into the full text of that article and then simply go to the very end of that article. And just like when we have to write a research paper, we need to document the sources that we consult. Authors of journal articles need to do the same thing. So they have a list of references. And then you can look through this list of references and see what pieces of information the author of this original article consulted themselves. So, for example, this one from 2001 by Neil Anderson from the Handbook of Industrial Work and Organizational Psychology. Or this one right here from 2004 from Transcultural Psych Psychiatry from 2004. I could then take these citations and I will show a mechanism at the end of this tutorial that I can then see if the library has this particular article if it's relevant to my research topic. Okay, So that is going back in time because the author of the, this article is referencing things that came before the things that he's writing about. Now we can also go forward in time. So this article is from 2007 and there are some databases, Google Scholar and JSTOR are two examples that allow you to go forward in time. And in this case, there is an under each result in Google Scholar, there is a link here that says cited by. And what this means is that this author, this article has been cited by other authors. So other authors in um, after 2007 have made reference to this particular article. They found it useful in some way. So if I click on this cited by link here, it will then give me a list of results of articles that actually include that original article in their list of references. So I've gone forward. I can now see ones from 2009, 2010, etc. And I can then access the full text of those. So they are more recent results that in a lot of ways will probably be related to the original article that was hopefully relevant to my research topic. So those are the ways to go um, forward and backward in time to mine the references of one good research article. Now, if you don't have the full text handy like we do here, like if you go back and you're mining the references within a print article, for example, there is actually a mechanism in the online library where you, if you have a citation in hand, you can find that article. So I'm going to now go to the online library homepage and there's a, a tool here called Journal Finder. And it says search by journal title. So I can click on that. And if I have a citation in hand, so let's say in this example, we want to search for the Scandinavian Journal of Psychology from 2010. I will simply copy the, the title of a, a journal I want to determine if the library has. And I've clicked on that journal finder tool. It'll take a second to come up here. 
And once it does, I can either type in or paste the name of the journal, whatever it may be, click search, and this tool will tell me whether the library has that particular journal. It'll tell me what years it has if we do have it. And it'll give me a mechanism to then access that journal if the library does have it. So you can see we do have it in several databases. It tells me the year. It shows that there is an embargo, which means a delay of one year. So the most recent year won't be available. But I can then simply click on the title of the, the database that contains that journal. And I can then um, either search within the publication here or if I know the specific year, volume, and issue, I can navigate using the list of years on the right-hand side in this case. And that is, in essence, citation